It's possible for you to hit 90% of your shots easily if you just learn the fundamentals of aiming. And the rules I give you in this video will immediately make you stand above everyone else. Rule number one is to control your attention and speed. You need to stop choking your mouse or controller to death like it did something wrong to you. Tension is the enemy to precise control and smooth like movements. Keep your muscles relaxed to the point that there is no tension or tightness so it enhances your fine motor control and it actually gives you a consistent and performance boost. People always tend to extremely tense up when they're put in life or death situations, but this is a big reason you miss the easiest shots. But people also act as if the targets are moving really fast in game and start to frantically spam their crosshair all over the place thinking that the characters are moving too fast. In reality, this is false. Take the time to really look at them. The characters have a certain speed they cannot go over. This is how fast they actually move, meaning your crosshair should never be moving at a speed faster than this when you are tracking. You feel that it's too fast for you to react because you add too much motion to your movements, making them appear way faster than they actually are. Calm down, bro. It's a video game. All you have to do is move your crosshair lightly to the left or right when they're changing directions. Remember, the target is not Barry Allen. Stop panicking. Release tension and make smooth movements onto your target. But many players struggle to aim well consistently, causing the game to only be half as fun for them as it could be. The only solution to this is aim dueling to create consistency. Grab any of your friends and force them to 1v1 with you every single time you load up Apex Legends for 20 minutes. Some of you might already do this and claim your aim doesn't get better. Shut up. You're doing it wrong. You need to mimic the situations you suck at in game down to the gun situation and movement. But in 2024, Apex Legends still doesn't have custom maps to make custom scenarios, so we're gonna have to make our own broke boy version of this. For example, if you can't hit long range shots at cover, 1v1 doing this for 20 minutes. If you can't win your close range 50-50s, then do this. Let's say there's a particular strafe pattern you find you can't hit. Put a wingman to your friend's head and force them to keep doing the strafe pattern you have trouble with so you can practice. Use the range to create any situation you need. Now please Please tell me if you did this every time you got on how you would miss that's right you wouldn't but i know some people are very lonely and avoid human contact at all costs so instead you can use mixtape to do this team deathmatch and control are the best but i don't want to see you like billy over here complaining about not doing the objective no your only purpose in here is to continuously shoot your gun at enemies as much as possible. This is the only way to ensure you aren't wasting time and getting as much in-game practice aiming at characters. This is why BR is terrible for this, because I know a lot of people out here are averaging like what, five kills a game? Meaning you shoot for five minutes maximum out of a 30 minute game, and that's being generous. But even with all this, you're going to need to figure out the perfect sensitivity so that you can stick to it and memorize the movements, right? Wrong. Again, you've been lied to about sensitivity and it is not important as you think. The truth is sensitivity is just a tool and is not the main factor for godly aim. Something else is. You've probably been told that for both MK and controller, you need to keep the same sense so you can develop the muscle memory, blah, blah, blah. No, both M and K and controller have their own methods to actually grasp God aim. Starting with M and K, it is not possible to memorize the movements of your sensitivity because it's not the same every time. So get that out of your head. You tense differently all the time, so your muscles do not move the same. The literal humidity in your room changes how much you need to move the mouse. Even the wear and tear of your mouse pad and mouse gates change every time you use it. So you're not memorizing shit. Instead, smart individuals who don't believe 600 pound Redditors online will use their sensitivity to help them with what exactly they do and their playstyle. For example, you might mostly use clicking weapons like the wingman and PK, so low sense will help you with precision. Or you may be just a close range tracker, then high sense will definitely be better with this. Don't think too much about it and do not think you have to copy someone else. Your situation, strengths, and weaknesses are different than theirs. But that brings us back to the question, having a sensitivity and getting used to it doesn't improve your aim on M&K? Then what does? It's really just your fine motor control and hand-eye coordination. So you can stop looking up videos on how to aim better thinking good aimers have some secret unicorn piss they drink to get good. And I'm sorry to break it to you, but increasing your motor control and hand-eye coordination just comes down to you using your five senses and practicing. And I mean focus practice, not that bullshit where you just spam the same shit over and over on autopilot all day. You need to put your mind into your hand 
and consciously control everything with high precision. Don't believe me? Tens, a god aimer from Valorant, even said this. Rather than muscle memory, like holding a mouse is a lot of like hand-eye coordination. Like what you see is like how you move. The reason why I can play is somewhat similar on anything or like low sense, high sense, doesn't really matter, is because I'm just using like hand-eye coordination. That's it. Think of it like mind-muscle connection at the gym. When working on my biceps, I don't use momentum from my chest and other muscles to curl the dumbbell because then I won't be working on my bicep. Instead, I focus on moving the bicep directly with all my mind and focus. Do that with your hand and mouse. They should feel like one. At the end of the day, it's how well you can control your mouse, not muscle memory. In fact, changing sense in between sessions can actually increase motor control, and this is backed by real studies, not stank-ass keyboard warriors. But who cares about these arm-aiming nobody, aiming K losers? What really matters is controller, because that's what majority of the game is on. Let me be clear with this myth. Sensitivity does not affect your aim assist. Human error does. For some reason, our community thinks you have to use a specific sense because you get less aim assist on other sensitivities. Can someone tell me why that would make any sense? Or y'all just believe anything? I could tell you to stick a carrot up your ass and y'all would be like, write that down, write that down. What's actually happening is your joystick moves much more due to higher sense, so there is more room for error. Essentially, you're knocking your own aim assist off course. With controller, less movement is actually more because the aim assist will rotate your entire screen for you and help you if you let it. A lot of people just straight up fight against this. Do you even want to hit your shots? But I know something that will really get your controller players turned on and it's how to abuse aim assist. First, you need to be moving your left stick at all times. The aim assist will stay active when you're moving. Then combine this with slight movements of the right stick for double aim assist. To really squeeze every juice of aim assist you can, when the target switches directions, slow your stick down to a stop then move it to the other way this can really help you stop fighting the aim assist when it wants to take you a certain way but your dumbass keeps trying to take it the other way think of aim assist as an angel guiding your every move it will always be there for you to help you and it's strong as shit too but at the end of the day it's you who goes off course especially if you just strafe in a way to maximize damage output and abuse aim assist you might as well just call yourself Vorholst. But sometimes you and your opponent can both have really good aim and what really decides the winner in those 50-50s is who shot first. So how do you ensure you shoot first every single time? God crosshair placement. What you want to do is always have your crosshair at a position where an enemy you don't see will be. Sometimes I see these control players having their crosshairs at the ground as they're moving through the map. This is not Pokemon. A Diglett is not gonna spawn off the ground and attack you. Raise it up. Naturally, my crosshair is just set to neck level and yours should be too. When moving around corners, you need to slice the pie to ensure your crosshair is always at the right place if you really want to shoot first. This means you need to continuously move your crosshair so it's always at a point where someone could be peeking. Then all you have to do is click to start hitting the first shot. No extra movement needed. Try to get this where it's as natural as possible because it's such an easy boost to your accuracy with basically no work. This also means when you're doing movement, you will have to change your crosshair placement mid-shot unless you just want to do unreliable flicks all the time. Good players will do this without even thinking about it. Even when taking a zip line or anything, you need to adjust for where the enemy will be when it's time for you to shoot. But legit, all of this will be useless if you don't understand how the guns work. First, recoil. Me and tons of other players will basically have no recoil on both MK and controller, and the first thing people do is accuse cheats. But even though a third of Apex players are cheaters, it's really simple to have no recoil. When you move your character and move your crosshair at the same time, recoil is non-existent. Yeah, you thought it was some big secret. That's literally all it is. So you must not be doing one of two things. So remember, I said as long as you are moving your crosshair. So if you stop moving it, the recoil will come back. People forget that. And even if you still get some recoil, just pull down a little bit. Like, come on. Kids in Siege do this with no aim assist, with recoil that shoots to the heavens and still hit insane clips. I promise you, you can control Apex recoil, man. You also need to realize that some guns work in specific ways. For example, people get confused why my PK will always hit for 99 and theirs hits so low, and they somehow come to the conclusion that damage on the PK is random. My PK hits so low all the time. No. The PK's damage is determined by how many of those shotgun pellets hits the character. It has spread, so it does not shoot in a straight line. So if you just sit there and shoot like this, of course you're going to have less damage. You hit less pellets. To hit max, you need to have every pellet hit the enemy every single time. So instead, 
Keep the dot in the middle so most of the pellets will hit the character. Now I never want to hear you say that dumb shit again about your PK doesn't hit a lot. What would really tie all this together and make sure you become an aim god is the mental aspect of aiming. There are three parts. Calmness, confidence, and focus. In order to have a human aimbot, you need to remain calm. Your head needs to be like a lake. Smooth with no ripples and you can see the reflection clearly. It should be clear with no thoughts, anxiety, or panic. But as soon as you let the anxiety, fear, and thoughts come in, the lake begins to ripple, making the reflection unclear or even unrecognizable. Then you won't be able to see the true image of what's happening. This is what causes people to think the targets are moving too fast or shake. Take your time to move the crosshair to the target with no shakes intention and watch how you become the honored one. Second is confidence. Confidence breeds success and success breeds confidence. On God. Why would you have any thoughts that would put you at a disadvantage? That doesn't make any sense. You need to consciously believe that you will hit all your shots for you to even attack attempt to hit all your shots but in the end confidence cannot be fake because you may still believe deep down you're not the shit so the only way to fix that is by putting in the work and you put in the work and you've actually seen yourself hit those shots before why would you not believe that you could hit them again you will have no choice but to believe you'll hit them because you've hit them so many times before your confidence should be built through practice not delusion because if not then it's just arrogance since you have nothing to back it up. And the last thing, but arguably the most important thing, is your focus. If there was one thing I wish I could max out, it's this. You need to lock eyes onto your target and watch every single little pixel that changes and every movement the opponent does. I need you to stare into the other person's soul through the screen, bro. That's how focused you should be. Why? When you see a fast moving fan, it looks like a blur. But when you take the time to look at the individual blades on the ceiling fan and see everything clearly, practice reducing all distractions to zero and only having the sole goal of moving your thumb or hand to the opponent and winning the aim duel. Then there's no way you'll lose.